Welcome back to the armory. I've got a torch, Susan, and a barrel. Let's cut a fire pit. There's a lot of new subscribers to the channel, and thanks for joining, it's great to have you. For the OG subscribers though, you may notice that my recording studio is a little bit different than usual, and that's mostly because of Susan. Susan is a KR20 with a KRC4 controller from KUKA Robotics with a 20 kilogram payload, six axes, great, but 600 volts, three phase, which I don't have in my shop at home. So I was lucky enough to be able to borrow a corner of a shop and 600 volts from the Hacksmith. We recently did a collaboration video together. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check it out on his channel. I'll put a link down in the description. The first thing I need is a way to actuate this torch. You can get torches that have electronic valves built directly in that the controller can control. But what I'm gonna do is just use a pneumatic cylinder to be able to push this down. Anyone who does metal work in this shop has one of these torches. So as long as you can find a way to push it down, you'd be able to use a robot with it. Also, I'm going to mount the barrel directly onto the end of the arm instead of out in front. That makes it so I don't need to be running cables and hoses down the arm. Reduces the risk of wind up and me breaking cables or breaking hoses and also makes the programming a little bit easier. I'm going to make a little plate for the end of the robot and actually mount extrusion directly on it because that's cheap and easy to use and it makes it adjustable if the barrel's a different shape. All right, now that I'm done hardware, it's time to get to software. I'm gonna do the programming inside of Mastercam and run it through a Python script to actually turn it into KUKA code. Luckily, with KUKA, there's a single variable that you can define that flips the entire program automatically in the controller so that you can be holding the part and have your tool external. So that makes doing RTCP a lot easier. So I'm using two different systems to make sure Susan's safe. The first one is called Safe Operation from KUKA. What it does is it makes it so you can set up workspaces that the robot is allowed to work in. Think of these like invisible fences that are around the robot that the robot cannot escape from. The second piece to this is a safety LiDAR from Hokuyo. I have this LiDAR scanning all around the robot and you can set up specific areas that nothing can enter. If anything enters into those protected areas, the robot will either pause or completely slam on the brakes and stop if someone gets too close. These fields are completely configurable for any application. So as applications change, I can adjust these fields to line up with whatever working area the robot needs to be in. Now that we have safety out of the way, let's get to cutting. This first barrel didn't work out very well. The main reason for that is that the torch was set up wrong, so it's cutting really, really wide. 
I assumed it was going to have about a millimeter kerf, but it ended up being almost 10. And because of that, a lot of the details that I was going for ended up just being completely obliterated. Entire pieces just fell out. So the next version I made was based on Starry Night. Something that was kind of nice to look at while you're just hanging around the fire. That wasn't super detailed and didn't have any features really, really close together. I also fixed the torch, which kind of made it a non-issue. For creating the paths for Starry Night, I actually just use Inkscape, which is a vector editing tool. So just kind of drew some lines inside of that, imported it to Mastercam, and then programmed it the same way as all the Star Wars pieces. I'm really happy with this fire pit. It's nice to look at and gives lots of air for the fire. It was a pretty fun first project for Susan too. As usual, any questions or suggestions, just stick them down in the comment section. I'll also be putting all the code that I used to cut this up on GitHub. The link will be down in the description. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you get notified of more videos with Susan or with Herman. Robots are awesome, and I'll see you next time.